Hey everyone! So today on Anyone Can Cook, we are going to make some homemade roasted red bell pepper hummus. It is delicious. You can use it a lot of different ways. You can use it to dip your veggies in, so another really great way to get your vegetables. You can use it to dip pita bread or crackers, even chips if you wanted to. Uh, another really cool thing to do is you can use it in place of mayonnaise or cheese on your sandwiches. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on making our hummus. So in order to make hummus, you're gonna need garbanzo beans. Uh, they're also known as chickpeas. And make sure you drain that really well. You're gonna need tahini, which is ground sesame seed. Uh, this tahini has garlic in it, so you won't need to add extra garlic if you don't want. Um, this can be found at Dylan's, but just so you know, before you use it, make sure you give it a stir, because all the oils can separate. You're gonna need roasted red peppers, okay? You can make your own roasted bell peppers, but this is easier and quicker and tastes just as good. You're gonna need juice from the lemon, you're gonna need olive oil, and then your seasonings is uh, cumin and salt to taste. Okay, so, and you need a food processor. Everything goes into this food processor, you just blend it up, and uh, it comes together really, really quickly, and it's pretty easy. So to get started with, you're going to use most of this jar of the red bell peppers. There. And you just put them in, no need to cut them, because the blitzer is gonna do the work for you. Okay. And you're going to need your whole can of um, garbanzo beans. This goes right in here. You're also going to need some lemon juice. So I've already washed these lemons, remember, because you want to wash all your produce. Even if you don't eat the skin, you still wash it. So we're going to need a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. So I'm just going to squeeze the lemons. And hopefully we should get a fourth of a cup of lemon juice here from these lemons. This will give it a really nice crisp taste. My measuring cup here. There's our fourth of a cup. Let's see if we got that much. Great, we did. Always like to have too much lemons just in case, because you don't want to not have that flavor. And that goes in there. We're gonna need the tahini, and it's a fourth of a cup also. Got my fourth of a cup measure. Okay, and so this is just, like I said, it's ground sesame paste. Um, it's really easy to find nowadays in the store. It used to be harder to find, but now, because um, making your own hummus and different things has become really popular, so it's not hard to find anymore in the stores either. So, and that goes in. You could use peanut butter if you wanted to. I just really like the taste that the sesame seed gives. Okay. You're also gonna need a half a teaspoon of cumin. And that goes in there. And then it's gonna be salt to taste. So we'll probably start with, you know, a little bit less than a half of a teaspoon. You might want more. Okay. So, you might wonder what we're going to do with the olive oil, but um, it actually gets streamed in while the blitzer is going, okay? So, this will be a little bit loud, so you just put your food, your top on, and you'll start blending, and as it's blending, you'll pour olive oil in, okay? You want a nice, smooth consistency, okay? So, let's take a look. Okay, so we're just gonna pour some olive oil in. I think I wanna add a little bit more, but it's looking really tasty right now. So we have a nice smooth consistency. 
of our hummus. It is, for the most part, all finished. We just want to put it into this really nice bowl to serve it. Okay, if you wanted to, you could you could have saved some of your roasted red peppers to put it on the top, kind of like they do when you buy this at the store. You know, when you buy this at the store, already made, I mean, it's like five, six dollars, and I mean, you don't get anywhere near that amount. So, I um, I'm gonna use soft pita, and I'll serve it with carrots and some vegetables, and we'll have a delicious, healthy snack. Thanks for coming and watching the video, and thanks for. Uh, joining me while we learn about what you can cook with a new one. Thank you.